All right, here's a little tutorial for how to use the on shape to make some cat shapes. Uh, if you have this PowerPoint, then you already have this link. So if you go here, you'll get to this site here. This is their free education plan. You fill this information out, tell them you're a student and all of that. Check it out. They will create an, uh, an account. They will send you an email. You have to just confirm it and then you can go from there. I've already done that. So when you do, when you log in, you'll get to this screen right here. I'm just going to show you how to do a basic shape. It's very similar to Inventor. Um, so basically, I create a document. And just to give it some kind of a name, click OK. You see this looks very similar. So if I click on that plane, here's our cube. I click front and then to make a sketch I just click this sketch right here and now all of my sketch commands are up here so I can make a rectangle I can put a circle here I can go and all of these commands are here I have an arc um, I have these little if you click these drop downs you'll be able to see here's my trim so I, I could trim this out of here so that I have just that shape. So when I get it the way I want to, I can leave it there just like we used to sometimes in Inventor, or I can click my check mark. That'll leave that there. And then this is my extrude. And you'll see here, there's also revolve and sweep and loft and all of that. I select my faces, click up here so I can see what I'm doing. I can put in, inf put in numbers or I can grab the arrow and drag it out that way and you can see your numbers here so if I want to make it um, exactly five inches click my check mark and there I have I don't know that this yeah it doesn't I don't think it lets you free rotate you have to click on corners but you can certainly it doesn't have a home per se but you can see that this is let's see if I can yep push down your scroll wheel and you can rotate it just like with uh, inventor so if I get all this I get this the way I like it I can add to it you know I can make a new sketch on a surface I can then put a circle here check that mark I can extrude click my circle and then I can cut it uh, let's see. I have done a cut before, so. Hmm. Oh, remove right there. Okay, so there's your right there. Learning as I go. Uh, so I can remove it. And so I can do all those things. I've got my, if I make a mistake, I can go backwards or forwards. If I click um, this right here, or if I click my on shape, it takes me back and there's my that's the one I just did so I can click on that and it'll take me back so you make all of these parts when I want to do a dimension multi view I click this plus sign down here new element and create a drawing um, you can just do this one here you can uh, so I can use that you can there are other ways you can i think it originally it asked me what i want to do you want a sheet a i click ok there's my sheet so i can come from here i can click this and i can put it here if I click on it again, it allows me to go up here. Whoops. Back up one. Whoop. Won't let me. Okay. I can just delete that one. Delete that. Oh, hit escape. Works just like an inventor. When in doubt, hit escape. So I don't want that one. I don't want that one. But I can... I can do projected view here, click on this, come straight up, that'll give me my projected view. 
I can come over here, click that, come over here. That'll give me a projected view. Hit escape to get out of that. If I double click on it, I get all of my things here. So I can say that I want to show hidden lines. Let's see if that works. No. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to show hidden lines, but I maybe maybe that's not a thing. Um, burr, burr. Okay, maybe not. Now I still want. I found the best way to do this one is if I do, in, in, rather than going off, if I click Insert View. Now I can click Isometric. Come right here. And there's my symmetric. Here are my, let's just drop down, give me, oh, all kinds of stuff here. But if I want just basic dimensions, come on. There we go. So you can do all those things. You can get your, so there it gives me my diameter. So we can do all the things like we did before. So I can create it, you can create a dimension multi-view for whatever you do. So this will, this is about as far as I've gotten so far, but this will get you at least working with it. You saw there were, if I, so down here, there's my drawing. Assemblies I haven't gotten into yet. Maybe we'll do some assemblies later. But um, I can click on the part studio and it'll bring me back to my original part. And I'm assuming that if I fill it, that at 0.75, to give it a nice big one. Okay, and I click my check mark. Let's see if when I come to my drawing, I don't know if it updates or not. That's what I was waiting to see. It may eventually. It's not super fast with that kind of thing because um, it is all online. So you've got, um, you can make folders to save things in. This has all of your, this is basically your browser. So you can go back in and you can edit these different things. Uh, when you get all done, you can, what did I have to do to, oh, I remember. If I go back to here, I can, let's see, well, I'm trying to remember because there is a way to export this to, hmm, I thought it was over here. So, trying to see. So that was the other one. It's showing the drawing because that was the last thing I was in. Uh, double click on it and it'll take you back to it. And trying to see. And so uh, here it is. I found it here. So if I right click down here on the part studio, I can export. If you export it as a SolidWorks type file, you would then be able to open it in Inventor. Or if you wanted something that you can 3D print, you would export it as an STL. And so my plan is that you're going to make some different things, but one of them that you'll make will be a uh, keychain, and then you can upload that. I have my 3D printer at home, and I can 3D print your keychains for you even if I can't see you. So that's one of our things. And then you're gonna do some other projects. But basically for the next couple of weeks is to either use, you can do it with Inventor if you have it, or if not, this works really well on shape, works with any computer. You don't, it doesn't have to be you know fancy because it's all online, so it'll work with anything. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, and so 
Hope everybody is good. And there's an intro for you.